Cloud. Hello, everybody. How are you? Happy springtime, May. This is um, our May 2nd Lunch and Learn, and we're happy that you're joining us. Um, we do these Fully Activate You trainings to help educate you guys to make your lives easier, to make your business go smoother and faster and more efficient. And today, um, I'm going to talk about how you can create content using Canva. Um, it's one of the things that um, a few of us as leaders are, you're direct to corporates um, that are on Mary, Samantha, and Beth, and I, um, I was like, you know, I know when we have these ongoing specials that or offers that Jamie's going to be doing every month, sometimes, um, you know, Jamie's got so many things going on. We have great things coming down the line, but maybe she doesn't have the, the most amount of time to actually create additional images that are exciting and you know, explosive and will catch the eye. So, and I know a lot of us have great creative, um, you know, or we have great creative ideas. So I wanted to make something um, of this training to help you find your inner like creativity to create some great little graphics. I'm going to make it, you know, simplistic. So you can really kind of just, you don't have to go hog wild on everything, but if you can make an image once a month for every special we may have coming forward, um, I want that to be, you know, a positive thing for you. So Canva, I use Canva because it's a free app. Um, there's a free app and there's a paid app, um, but it's a website as well as a mobile app called Content Creator, kind of like a design studio that you can use. Um, I've used it for years and I've used the free option, the free option for years. And I just last year optioned to do the pro, which is $119 a year. But the difference is it just gives you some additional features like images that are kind of copyrighted or protected for just the pro users. And then it also can take away, erase things in the back. So if you have a picture and you wanted to erase all this junk behind me, you could do that. If I took a photo right now, you could delete all that and make a different image. So those are the main features of that. So um, just wanted to give you that. Um, so here's what it will help you do. Um, I want you to work smarter, not harder. And I want you to be able to make social media content such as um, Facebook posts, like Instagram and Facebook posts, but you can also add to reels. You can make stories. A lot of our presentations you see your leaders here use is using the template from Canva, and then we can share it while in the app. You can also do flyers. You can also do business cards, thank you cards, and sample, like I have one and I'll show it to you, my favorite things, like my favorite herbal alchemy, MIG things um, and products. So that's kind of the things that I want you to think about while you're watching me do this training of what your, you know, what your wheels will start turning like, oh, I can make this and I can make that. Make them simplistic. Um, you know, you don't have to go with all the different details, but that's what I'm going to kind of show you today. So just making sure. Okay, so step one, I'm going to share my screen. Let me first get this on the right there. Um, okay. So give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen, Canva. Perfect. Okay. So this is the, um, the, the main site. So just create an account. It's free to do so. You don't have to pay anything. And it's great to have this as an option. So what I want you to do is you'll see this initial one come up, um, your page. And I want you to go over to the left side and hit templates. Here's what I want to tell you. There's a lot of templates already created by really creative designers. Use them. Don't have to create, you know, start from scratch. Don't recreate the wheel. Be like productive when you, this is what I do. I go through and I will look to see if there's really cool designs that I love. I'm like, oh, I like this one. Oh, I like that one. So here's just an example of all the things you could be creating from presentations, social media, et cetera. Um, and you can see in different, um, you can, they are actually created in different formats too. You can see Instagram posts. You can see Facebook as covers, Facebook posts that are more rectangular, things like that. But I want you to go down where you saw templates off to the left, go to social media. And then I want you to do Instagram posts. I like Instagram posts because you can go from Instagram, you can post an Instagram post and you can have it shared to other social media platforms like Facebook. So here's where you're going to go in and just look at all cool content. So this is kind of populating things that I've been using in the past. So it's kind of has an algorithm of like, Things that Jennifer White would like, like the images, the type of content. And when you'll see these pro down here, you'll see like a little crown pro. That one will have images within that, um, um, that content 
that is protected by the pro um, additional paid features. So just look for tons of ones that don't have it. There's a lot of them that don't have that and you'll be able to use those, um, those images. So what I wanna do is I wanna quickly just go to one that I already found um, for fully activate you. So I found this one post, it's breakfast time. Someone created this, it looks awesome. I, look, I like this one because I can put four different photos within this same image. Do you see where I'm clicking this? It's showing you a purple box around the image. And that just shows me that I've got options to put four cool con pieces of content in there. And then I can actually put in, you know, additional things about say a Father's Day sale, things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and highlight this waffle that looks delicious and I would love to go to this place for breakfast. But say that I wanted to put something more authentic and um, organic in here. And I wanna put in maybe raspberries or I'm putting here on my left-hand sign files. These are uploaded content that I put in there. So really quickly, so if you wanna upload files and here's what I'm gonna ask of all of you watching this live or watching it as recording, let's share. All boats rise the tide. So when we share content, we share images, it allows all of us to have our creative juices flowing and we can all share different images. As you've seen, like I shared, you know, hey, I'm doing this Canva training, super simplistic, but let's share the content that we have. Um, if you wanna self-brand, there's a way to do that and I'll show it to you. But while we're still young, we're still growing as a company, this is the best time for us to be able to collaborate together and share. And here's what I would love to see. So do you see this photo here? I don't know if it is, who it is. Maybe Ashley Delp, I'm not sure. But it's a photo of someone holding product and her head hand, hand, hand like kind of tilted backwards. But I love using this photo because it looks fun and inviting. Like, oh my God, I want to know what those products are. She's loving these products. Um, but what you'd want to do is upload files that you have either our standard like um, stock file folder, um, stock images, and or photos that you've made or that you've taken, like this kind of a thing, like the facial method bar. Um, and I'm some, some of these are not showing up right away right now. I don't know why that is. But anyway, so you'll see that there's a lot of cool, fun photos that I have off to the left-hand side of, see what's going on with why that all those are not showing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the waffle and I'm gonna put in a piece of um, an image here that I want to put into that spot. Of course, it doesn't show up at the moment. All right, well, that all worked yesterday when I was playing with everything. Let me just go to another image. So I'm gonna do this one. Does that show up for you guys? Yes or no? Is it gray? It's not, okay. So I'm gonna keep going down to find another image and how these worked yesterday. And I played with it for hours and just to make sure everything was going smoothly. All right, so I'm just gonna use one of these. I'm gonna put this here. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm not sure why this is not showing up normal now. Of course, it's always when- Jen, Jen when I do it, drag it over. Click on the I image did. and then, and then I didn't see your cursor drag over. So what I do is I highlight the image. So see that purple box? It knows I wanna replace that square image. So I'm gonna take this, um, I have my hand over, my cursor over the, um, the body oil. So I'm gonna stick it there. So interesting. All right, I'm gonna try another image. So I'm scrolling down, here was another fun, here's another fun image. So this is, could be something where you put your image in the middle. And, or you can put something, you know, four products, four of your fun products. It could be like the facial products. It could be the body products that you're loving. It could have been the nutritionals, whatever that, you know, I really think next month, it'll be something we're promoting for the men. So if we did the man face or man products, so I'm going to put it over this one product, this one image here. Holy cow. All right. I'm going to quickly do a we just refresh this page on Canva and see if that helps. So again, what I'm trying to illustrate is don't recreate the wheel. Look at these images and see, ah, I think that's maybe all I needed. Okay, so now it's refreshing. So it is looking, um, you know, and ultimately 
you can take our existing products. Yay, it refreshed everything. Okay, it's taking existing products and images. If you'll see these new images that I uploaded yesterday, I wanted things that are in a natural setting at someone's home, on your bathroom counter, somewhere. Maybe you just pulled it out of the box. So I'm going to take one of these images. I'm just going to drag it. As you see, I'm dragging it. I'm going to drag it into the square, into where the previous image, image was. So I'm going to take this little soap. I'm going to stick that one here. I'm going to stick right there. You can click on this square, and you can kind of go, go in there to make it kind of be where it's. Um, you can adjust it so you can see more of the product in there. And then this one, let's do... To take this one. Um, let's see if it's not going to fit there perfectly. Let's take some honey, put some honey in there because we love the bees. I'm going to take all the soap um, here and I'm going to put that one there. So, do you see how quick and easy that was? We just made an image. Um, let me stick that there. Actually, I like that one better. But we just made a cool little image with four photos that we will have in, the, you know, in our stockpile of uploaded images and using a template that's already been created. I didn't have to come up with the squares and the circle and all the things. So here we can say Father's Day special. And I'm gonna show you how you can just click on it and you can make it smaller. Oh, perfect, right? You can take this old wording out, you can adjust that and take, and we can say, um, I'm just gonna put 30% off, oops, let's go smaller. And we can say 30 days off. Um, I'm just gonna say until, until, I don't even know. This is not a special right now. I don't know what the special is gonna be. I'm gonna say May 30, May 20th. So how easy was that? Is I just found a previously done thing grabbed some images and plopped them into predestined areas of images there. So over to this um, side to the right, you'll see share. One of the things I always do with my share is I will do download. Ping is the best, it's suggested, but you'll wanna make sure that you only, well, if you only wanna download one, only download this one image. So now you'll download just page one. If that makes sense, really quick, just to kind of go through this. So here's another option too is looking at, um, this was, a, uh, I had another image, I had a cool house, but I wanted to pull this image because it'd be great to be able to take our body lotion bars and stick the body lotion bars in these circles. So we have, um, we have our body lotion bars and I'm just putting them into the circles. Super simple. You can take wording, um, you know, take wording, you can change this and go, you know, it, what's your body worth? What? is your body worth? I know that's um, a group that, love, you know, we've talked about that before. You know, it's a great statement to see, but putting that in there, we can move the, um, you know, move the box, the square to make it fit. You can actually change it from like left flush to center or to one side or um, uh, whatever that's called, like even up upon, upon the whole thing. So being able to put in here different images, and you can even put this, this is the, the actual body, the body oil. And we can change these areas up all you want. Look at the existing text. If you wanna change the font, here you go. Going down and looking at all, there's tons and tons and tons of fonts that you can pick. The ones with this, the crown are the ones you have to be the paid, paid user, but there is a ton and ton of fonts you can use to change it up. So if you wanted to change it to a fun, different, you know, check, prices start. But you can actually change it to whatever that wording is. So here's what I also recommend is continuously trying to do, and you can see I was doing different types of, um, of uh, images for, for us. But look how simplistic this is to be able to find different pieces of content and templates. I'm going to add a piece. So what I recommend to start with, is start with one template and keep adding pages. So this is your one page, your one file, and just continue to go down page after page. Um, so you don't have to keep looking at different, um, you know, all the files to figure out which one you want to use. So this is your monthly promotional discount, you know, images. 
So you want to add another design. Go to the top left. This is your design area. So you can see Mother's Day. So you'll give you a great template. So you can just embellish and make it your own for, um, uh, you know, for your own, uh, you know, promotions. Here's Father's Day. So how cool would this be being able to find an image that suits what you want to, you know, portray out there? What I like to do is I like to make sure I have one that maybe has photos that you can put in. So putting in like the man face. So we can change all this up to dad from me. Get like we can put in here like let's you know here's thirty percent off now, you know get or whatever the promotion is. You can even start doing that with the guy's face, but but being able to put that in there for next month um, when we're running promote you know Father's Day purchases, say you know loved it you know I love the way this is you know close to your shave or you know the for the manly man in my life. So we can change that. You can click on this. It's going to keep the font um, for the manly man in my life. And I can share all these ones that I'm creating for you guys too. And then what I want to do is I want to make this wording bigger. It's going to increase it. It's going to kind of keep that same um, uh, font, but it's going to just enlarge it, but it's also going to center um, how that is as well. And here's what I want you to do. You'll see this photo here. So over design. So I'm going to show you really quick. On the left, I'm looking at design. We just That's where you'll pick different images. Elements to where you can add some of these different things, like this square that they use, this white like label, they've found it here. So you can go through if you want to look for circles, you want to look for hearts, you want to look for a square, it'll show you all the different options for squares. So if I wanted to put in this gray square, what is gray square in here? I'm going to undo it. But it gives you tons and tons of features and elements to add into your image if you want to change it up, if you want to make it more, you know, snazzy and jazz it up you can frames is where you'll this is where they put these frames because they're photo frames that's what those are for and so forth um uploads is where you'll put all the images you want to put for your man you know for this so i'm putting in man soap and let's go find some man face um i'm just for the sake of this moment i'm going to put the man i'm going to make that the man face and then i'm going to put in here this option in there too. You can click it and you can actually enlarge the photo so they can see it a little bit better as well. So you can always change them up as, as well too. I'm putting them in there. Um, text, you could add additional text. So if I wanted to add um, really cool, like this kind of cool thing in here, I can lower it to say, I'm gonna do a hundred font, be brave. And I'm gonna make it on one, and I'm just going to bring it down if I wanted to make it, which is kind of, this is another cool feature. So when this is the, um, the font, the, the text color, whatever images are already in this, in these images, they're going to replicate them over here for photo colors. So if you want to keep the same branding of our branding of our, our teal color for what our new labels look like, or if you want to keep it into where the, it's pulling the colors from the soap, you can definitely do that. So I'm going to do that for one of the soap colors, and it's going to change my B, be brave. I'm going to go with what the soap color looks like. And then I can highlight these kinds of all these features here, and I can bring it down, up, bring down this a tiny bit, the brave. But here's the thing. I'm not, I did not go to college, I did not go to school, did not take any classes on how to do all this myself. I'm just saying I've played with it. I've had some fun. I've made mistakes, but everything can be done undone. So you see over here on the top left, undo, 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 undo. I can go back and undo it all if I feel like I've made a mistake or it doesn't look right. So that's one of the things I wanted to show you how easy it is to make images. So I'm going to quickly scroll over to some other images that I've found that I've created or that we've uploaded um, to show you some things that I have made in the past. So, um, come on, I know we're doing, that's not that one. Okay, so here are some that we did for Mother's Day. So a really cool photo of the image of someone holding their products and having their head um, kind of hanging backwards or like kicked back is um, this one where we just took some, took the actual image and we added text to it. Super simplistic. Mother's Day, here I'm gonna quickly show you, go over to text. 
scroll down. Do you see how it says glow or sparkle? That's all someone did is take the word sparkle. We can change the colors or you can change that, you know, the font as well. But Mother's Day, perfect gifts. This was another just simple image that was we uploaded and added send a little love to mom. Super simplistic, super easy to make some of these images. And um, let's see here. I'm going to show you what I did with a postcard as my favorite things. And this is this one. Um, and so instead of, you know, when I send out samples to people, I, or I send a thank you, they bought some products um, or someone's like, Hey, I'd love to try some products. I send a few samples, not all of them. And I will send this card to them. My favorite things. These are older images. I still have, I need to reprint new ones with the newer images on there, but this was a postcard already created. We had all these images already set up. I just took my photo my uploaded photo and plopped it into that one spot and that one spot, et cetera, et cetera. I added my favorite things and I'm happy to share this with you guys. Um, and then you guys can just add your own information. So what I did was I created these little, you know, little segments of what each of these products were like the charcoal cleansing bar, you know, what the bloom, um, or what the, what all these products will do and what it means, you know, what the products will help them with. And then I put in here the product um, credit programs that we have. And then I put my QR code on there and then ways they can contact me. Um, I have these sent to be shipped. I'm going to show you this. This is awesome. So if you need something done really quickly, hit um, print postcards. And if you do these on, um, you'll do the front and back. I do them on premium paper, matte finish, matte finish. I, you can do as many postcards as you want. But the cool part is you can see there's an in-store pickup available. So in your specific city, if you've got a FedEx um, printing location, they have a collaboration with Canva. They will print things out within a day, actually sometimes hours, but maybe within 24 hours. So that's something you can do. And these are business write-offs. And I'm going to quickly go through to the thank you. This is a thank you card that I created um, because... I wanted to say thanks for when they place orders. Um, I do this for every single person who's a brand new customer of mine or someone who's placed a really big order. Um, these are images, again, uh, previous postcard templates. Um, and then I just put these, you know, little images in that we had. I added that verbiage in there. On the back, um, I will sometimes add this into a my favorite thing package and say thanks so much. And I'll just write on this. Um, you know, thank you so much for trusting me, you know, and, and, and trying the products and entrusting me, um, you know, let me know if there's anything I can do, if you have any questions when you get the product, et cetera, et cetera, and then, you know, send that out. But it looks elegant and that people have appreciated like, wow, I'm handwriting a card. Um, let's see here, just making sure that's that, how to's. I tried to open up some things, so I had them ready. This is what I did yesterday. So I took a previous circle, had something completely different. Here, I'm gonna see if I can do it. I can't do it because I saved it already. But simplistic, it was something different. I added the Canva. Um, they already had this cool little graphic done. Um, so I'm gonna go into text. Actually, I'm gonna go into elements. And I wrote in Canva. You see, I just put in Canva here. And here is this cool thing. I just did this big old circle with Canva in it. And then I added some wording. And then you can share this and you can download it as a little video and you can post that on your team pages. So there's great things you could be doing for your team, um, for your customers, on your VIP pages. Here's another cool image that I did. So I did this where I put my face in here. So I had one of my photos, set your goal and go after it. And this is what I was saying. If you wanted to do something, if you're doing your personal image and you're doing your personal brand and branding, you can put at Go Natural with Jennifer. It's my tagline. That's my thing. So it's my website. It's my email. It's everything that I've branded myself with. And I love that color scheme. So if you go to GoNaturalWithJennifer.com, it's going to go to my website, my, my Herbal Alchemy website, my Instagram. I have it a part of my Facebook or my, my team page, all the things in emails. So that's one way you can brand it yourself. And then for testimonials, this is what I'm suggesting. We all should be doing more testimonials with customers. Whether you have a before and after photo, so I'm gonna see if I had a really, I had a before and after photo that I was trying to do here of just like going, um, 
here, I'll just put this one here, this image of a mask. So I'm gonna, the mask photo, let's see. Uh, here we go. Of course, let's drag her. Well, she's not dragging. Um, I'm gonna, there was one that happened as an all natural face. Um, All right, well, it's not working any, well, anyway. So you'll put the photo of your, say your customer or your image in there and then put the statement that they're like, you know, I have my glow back, my skin feels amazing with all these all natural products. So whichever you wanna do. This, something great, put that out there. Put something on this thing, hey, text me when you're ready to change your skin or when you're ready to change your life. Those kinds of things. Um, so I'm gonna quickly screw over this one more second because I know we're getting close to, oh. Um, here is something I've done to brand myself or brand our, like our products is I found this cool template and I just started updating it with products. So I did this really cool circle, um, super way to do it. It's called the, in the effects above your screen here on the center where you can actually do the curve and type in the curve and you can change, like you can change this lettering up here. We can make it where it's like that or it's like that, make it something different. So scrolling down, I just want to show you that was the lavender soap. Here's the man soap. Here's the bloom soap. Adding for color, you know. So this one's saying is you can continue to keep your branding as it is and just update it with different products and you can add different wording. Um, you know, I changed this to luxury um, crafted um, in the circle. So that's always a great way to do that as well. And then I wanted to quickly show you my business cards. Hopefully it's up here. Where is it? Um, oh, come on, click on. Um, all right, I'm going to quickly find the business card. I know we have business cards. Um, I don't even know. I think they're still on the page, but I'm just going to go to home. And so one of the things you can do with your business with an option of business cards is to um, put the front and back. I mean, this is going to be all of my crazy amounts of stuff. Here we go. And I just chose purple because it you know, lavender and it kind of was a great contrast to the yellow sweater that I was wearing. Um, if you have not done so, I recommend take some, have some, get with a friend, get with a neighbor, get with your spouse or, or whoever it is and do some photos in your backyard in beautiful spring color and spring lighting. And these we did last year, two years ago, I think it is now. And we all just took selfie or took photos of each other so we can use for content. So here's what I did, and you'll see these different options down here. So it made it really super simple. It was a template from a business card. Always make sure your face is on your business card because when you're with friends or with someone, they want to remind them, oh yeah, that was that woman with the dark curly hair, with the yellow sweater. So you go, yeah, I need to find her business card. I have to look for that. Um, on the back, I put um, here is kind of like a, like a little generalization about our programs for our customers and then my QR code. Um, I did do something for an elementary school or for like a, a um, teacher appreciation week at last year or two years ago. And I put more information on the front page. And then on the back, I did samples and I put each of our soap scents, the how to use and their ingredients on the back. And then I just did a little punch on the corner of the, of the card and then put the little sample bag and strung it through with a little piece of string. Just giving you ideas of how to make life easier. Yeah, I did this in April, 2021. Um, they gotta help out. So I'm gonna say stop share for a second. I'm gonna take a quick breath. I'm gonna see if there's any questions I can help with. Um, to, is there any other, let's see. Thank you so much um, for creating that for um, the link of the images and things like that. That's awesome. So yes, the more you guys add authentic, all natural um, images, photos of our products on your bathroom counter in great lighting and just capture the essence of the product. It doesn't have to be fully staged, but you know, different positions of the products and different products. It's so awesome. Um, so, and if you have questions, let me know. I just wanted to do this in 30 minutes. It's so hard. Because you, I could just go down the rabbit hole of helping and adding and, and adjusting the images, moving the you know bullet points and all the different things, um, changing different fonts, colors. Uh, so there's lots you can do. Be creative, but again, find some images, some templates under social media. 
do start with Instagram posts square, start with those. You can go into the design here. I'm going to do this really quick. Oh, I did it already. But if you go into design and you can type in father's day, you can type in health and wellness or spa or um, real estate agents have great ones because they're giving different photos of a home with different images of maybe the bedroom, the kitchen and the yard. So you can put different photos of our products in each of those little um, circles or elements and squares and so forth. So hopefully this was really um, enlightening for you guys. Hopefully it was educational. If you have questions, let us know. I'm happy to do another follow-up with some more Q&As or something like that. I can always help. Um, you know, definitely if you haven't bought business cards, um, thank you cards, sample like your favorite things, you know, start looking at how you can capitalize on that. They will work. Because people are like, I never thought that I could, oh, they have man soap. I can get my husband this. So it just goes along with some of the samples that you'll send. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. If there's any last questions, let me know. Unmute yourself. If not, we will see you guys. Um, I guess it'll be next month, every top of the month, every month. Correct, guys? Thumbs up, right? I think we're doing our, yeah, every every month we're going to do, um, Mary. First Tuesday of the month. Yes, yeah, first Tuesday of the month. That's what I was making sure, the top of the month. So, all right, everybody have a great rest of the week and happy um, beginning of May. Make it great. Bye, guys.